Hello, I am the awful chef. I want to eat, so I better make something. Uh, today's show is about nachos. Why on earth would I do a show about nachos? Well, I've discovered that many of my viewers are actually from parts of the world other than the United States of America. And so, for them, I will do a show about nachos. And it's also nostalgia. Oh, something good happened on my tablet. Um, many, 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 way too many years ago, I worked for a place called Jack in the Box that um, introduced the world to very fast nachos. So, what's a nacho? Now, nachos are a food you buy at the 7-Eleven or the gas station, local convenience store. And it is a tribute to the food industry of the United States. We start with um, corn chips, tortilla chips. Basically, take um, Mexican flatbread, fried in oil until it's full of all sorts of horrible things, and then pour salt on it. Corn chips. And then, and this is something that I'm certain many people will not understand, cover it in a chemical sauce. I am not showing the brand. Meant to remotely imitate the flavor of a very inexpensive cheese bechamel. A melted cheese sauce. And that is your basic nachos. American style. Then there is nachos um, deluxe. Bel Grande. And in that case you have um, hamburger meat. Ground meat, cooked, not necessarily seared, but simply cooked until it's no longer raw, in a thickened sauce, yes, I showed the brand name because there is no substitute for one rough flour, and then seasoned with an industrial seasoning base called taco seasoning. Yes, I've actually had a woman call me up and say, help, help, my taco meat doesn't taste like taco meat and I've thrown everything in it. So I had to ask her, had she thrown in an industrial, pre industrial preparation known as taco seasoning? And she said no. Went to the store, bought it, and her tacos tasted like tacos. Yeah. Mexican food in America, it's a little interesting. So, corn chips, cheese-ish sauce, meat. I check in the box, our meat came in a tube. It was served with a ladle because it was meat in a highly flavorful gravy. And that is what Americans think goes on a nacho. We also add um, salsa. Again with a jar. Yep. So, corn chips. Oh, that's healthy. Cheese sauce. Oh, that's healthy. Meat with industrial chemicals. Oh, that's healthy. Salsa. Mmm. Can be pretty good. Maybe pico de gallo. Um fresh cut tomatoes and onions and things like that that can be pretty good we're also going to throw on some sour cream and some jalapenos and yeah that's it that's what we call nachos here in america for your sake i encourage you not to try them but we're in a weird mood these days last night we were up in the middle of the night eating white castle microwave sliders and drinking beer so, um, why not have nachos? So I'm the Awful Chef. Please subscribe. Please do not try this recipe. But if you do, to make it taste like nachos, don't forget the taco seasoning. And don't even try to make the cheese sauce. Just buy it in a bottle.
So that's it. I'm the Awful Chef. Please subscribe. We will have better recipes that are not so hangry based. But we're in a weird mood tonight. So that's it. Thank you. Goodbye.